Welcome to another video from ExplainingComputers.com. This time, I want to introduce you to a fantastic new single board computer called the Latte Panda, which has been sent to me for review by my happy friends at DF Robot. Now, the Latte Panda has two standout features. Firstly, it's based on an Intel processor. And secondly, not only does it come with its own onboard flash storage, it comes pre-installed with a full copy of Windows 10. Yes, this is a single board computer, a bit like a Raspberry Pi, but it's Intel based and it comes pre-installed with Windows. So with all that explained, let's go and do what should hopefully be a very exciting unboxing. Right, here I am with this tiny black box of Windows computing goodness. And just before I open this thing up, I thought I should tell you there's two versions of the Latte Panda. This is the standard version. This has got two gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigabytes of flash storage, and it costs $109, which is about 83 pounds or 99 euros, at least at the moment. There's also an enhanced version of the Latte Panda. This has got four gigabytes of RAM, 64 gigabytes of flash storage, and costs $139. Anyway, that's enough about the price. This is the box. This is the, the back of the box in case you're interested in all of the box. But I think now let's get the thing open. I think this is a sliding box. Oh, it is. It is. And uh, oh, there we are. Isn't it nice to see a new single board computer? And I've just got to get it out. It doesn't want to come out. There it is. It's coming out. There we are. As usual in a little anti-static bag. I'm going to need a pair of scissors, but fortunately I brought Mr. Scissors with me so I can get into the, uh, the little bag here. Cut that at the top so I can always get back into use it again if I need to. And here we are. Here is with a good crackle. Come out, come out, come out. Here is the uh, Latte Panda, our marvelous new Intel based single board computer. Now, under this very shiny shield, as I'm sure you would guess, we have the processor. And the processor on this board is an Intel Cherry Trail Z8300 quad-core Atom CPU. And it's got a base frequency of 1.44 GHz, boosting to 1.84 GHz. So we've got up to 1.84 GHz of quad-core processing power on this board. It's a pretty powerful little board. With the processor, we also have Intel graphics, Intel Gen 8 graphics, supporting up to DirectX 11.2 and running at a base frequency of 200 MHz, but boosting up to 500 MHz. And on top of that, as you can also probably see written on top of the shield, we have our two gigabytes of DDR3 memory. Now, on top of that standard Intel infrastructure, on this board, there's also a coprocessor. And the coprocessor here is an 80 mega 32U4. And some of you might be thinking, what on earth is that? But it's actually a microcontroller coprocessor. It means we've got effectively an Arduino built in to this board. So we've actually got on this board here, GPIO pins, standard GPIO pins for an Arduino. So if you want to use this to control external devices as a microcontroller to build projects that use a Windows-based platform but also have microcontroller built in, you've got it here on the Latte Panda. And you've also got on this board some what they call sensor connectors, which is basically the Arduino connectors taken out to other headers so you can connect to them very easily. And then on top of all that, you've also got over here some GPIO pins for the Intel processor. So you've actually got access to the Intel chip as well as the uh, coprocessor Arduino chip all on this board. So if you do want to do any microcontroller type of project, you've got very, very good connectivity and hardware here on the Latte Panda. If we move around the sides of the board, you'll see on this end, we've got an HDMI connector for HD video, and we've also got two USB two ports. But in addition to that, we've also got a USB three port. Yes, finally, we've got a USB 3 port on a single board computer. And I really like this configuration, this number of ports, because it means we've got two USB 2 ports you can connect in, say, a keyboard and a mouse, but you've still got a USB port 3 after that for some storage, and it's also a fast port, it's USB 3. If we move around here on the one side of the board, in addition to the Arduino connector and the GPIO pins, for the processor we've got here. We've also, you can see here the chip which gives us 
onboard Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 4, so that's obviously very handy. And you might just see here we've also got connection for a Wi-Fi antenna. There was a Wi-Fi antenna in the box, I just didn't get it out in all my excitement. And also on this side we've got a couple of switches, reset and uh, power switches for the board. Moving on around again, on the other end of the board we have a wired Ethernet connector. This is, I think, I'm pretty sure, a 100 megabit Ethernet. And we also got an audio jack for connecting in a headset, things like that. We've also then got a micro SD slot. So in addition to the 32 gigabytes of onboard storage here, you can add in a micro SD card for more storage. And then next to that, something you may have suspected, this is a standard micro USB connector, which takes five volt input. This is how you power the Latte Panda. Moving around to our fourth and final side, we can see again the sensor connectors I pointed out earlier, but also a connector here for an LCD panel, LCD screen, and also a touch panel for that screen. And in case you're wondering, DF Robot do sell an LCD screen for the Latte Panda, and they also sell the overlay touch panel if you want to connect that in as well. And so there we are. This is, in all of its glory, with all of its hardware, the Latte Panda, an awful lot of processing power on a very tiny board. And as I said at the start of this video, not only does this have 32 gigabytes of onboard storage, so you don't have to add an SD memory card to get started, it's even got a full copy of Windows 10 pre-installed. And so now, as you would guess, I'm going to get out some peripherals, get out a power supply, and we'll boot this thing up. So, I've now got everything connected up. We've got a mouse and keyboard plugged into USB 2. I've got HDMI plugged in for the, for the monitor. And I've also got a USB power supply plugged in. And I should point out, you need at least a two amp power supply to power the Latte Panda. And in fact, I've also connected in here the, the Wi-Fi antenna so we can have Wi-Fi connection. Now I have to point out it's a two-phase process to get this going. First of all, you have to connect in the power. Now obviously I've connected the power there. If I now turn on the power adapter, hear the switch there, you'll see there's a little blue light comes on. The board has to what it calls initialize. So you have to wait till that blue light has done its flashing thing. There it has now, it's now gone off again. So once the board's powered up, we can now boot it by pressing the appropriate switch down here. And hopefully if we hold that in, something will happen. And we're now hopefully booting into Windows. Got a Latte Panda logo. And hopefully we'll, uh... oh, here we are. Yes, we've arrived at uh, Windows booting on a, a Latte Panda. Welcome to Windows. We're always welcome to Windows. I would just say this isn't my first boot. I had to go and do a bit of messing around to get my recording equipment to work with Windows. Always have to do that. But other than that, this is my first boot. And I've also uh, connected up Wi-Fi, so I know that that works as well. But hopefully, we're now arriving in uh, Windows 10. And uh, here we are on a Windows 10 desktop running on a single board computer. I still find that a, a fascinating idea, let alone something that's actually working. But as you can see, if I go down here, we've got a proper Windows 10 computer here. All the stuff Microsoft loves to throw at us in Windows 10 is going on on this computer. We've got an Arduino icon there. There's an Arduino package pre-installed if you want to do some Arduino type work with all those uh, GPIO pins. Not something I've tried myself yet, but I'm sure many people will like to uh, play with this. There it is, look, all waiting to be, uh, to be played with. Let's try the, uh, the Edge browser. Someone has to try the Edge browser. Once a month, at least one person in the world has to actually run it. Um, let's try going to uh, explainingcomputers.com. Yes, I've been there before as well. And it, and it works. So we've proved we are definitely running Windows 10 on a, a single board computer, which I think is a, a fantastic thing to be doing. The Latte Panda is clearly a dream come true for everybody who wants a single board computer, but they want it to run Windows. Now, the only thing you might be asking having watched this video is, what about cooling? because it's got quite a powerful Intel-based processor for, for a small board. There's no heatsink on the top, there's no fan. And I can report that if you turn the board over after it's been running, you'll see there's a lot of metal on the bottom. That does get rather hot. 
but I've had no problems with stability running it on a very warm day today. So, so far, no issues with cooling in terms of performance. And if there were any issues with cooling, I'm sure I could find a way to address them. In a future video, I'll look in a bit more detail at the Panda, comparing it to a Raspberry Pi 3, which is an obvious comparison I hope you'll think to make. But now that's it for this time. If you've enjoyed this video, please press that like button. If you've not subscribed, please subscribe. And I hope to talk to you again very soon.